three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine. I'm Jay, and uh, I'm uh, your bartender, actually, on this TV show. And my name's B. B. As you can see by the giant B that I'm wearing. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I've got I'm, a J here. He's got a J, I've shows. got a B. That's because we're J and B, and... and uh, we're on like, TV. Yes, yeah. I'm the editor, he's the bartender, and this is a show which glorifies the responsible use of alcohol. Yeah, J and B on the Rocks, actually, is the name, which you probably saw earlier. Episode number 25? No, no. 45. 45. Actually. I'm sorry, I'm confused by all these yeah. different numbers. Yeah. Because the, the name of this episode is actually 29 minutes. That's why I'm holding this clock. As a graphic representation, just like we have the J and B, we also tick, have a clock. Tick, tock, tick, tock. Time is passing. Keeps on slipping, slipping into... The, the future. future, yes. Time something. is passing, and, and since this is a show, however, which is about alcohol and, and drinking and, and kind of stuff like that, we wanted to, um, that's why we have this professional bartender here. Yeah. He's going to entertain yeah. us by making a drink. Yeah, which a one-minute mix-up, and right. I'll do that um, right now. So the, uh, the first thing that you need to make a one-minute mix-up is uh, some snow, so we're going to get that right now. Okay, and now we'll go inside and mix it. So uh, you want to now you want to make a hole in your snow uh, to pour your ingredients in. And so first thing you want to add is about four ounces of this ginger liqueur. So I'm going to add that now. And uh, the next thing that you want to add is about uh, four ounces of of rum. So we'll add that into our little hole as well. Okay. And the next thing that you want to add is about uh, six or eight or 12 or I don't know, just add a bunch of uh, ginger ale until uh, you feel like you've added enough and then you've added enough probably. And the last thing that you want to add is some cinnamon. Just uh, kind of put on enough to, to make it look really um, like you've added too much and that's probably about the right amount then. And then uh, we're going to mix it up. I'm mixing now. Jay, your minute is uh, almost up. Well, I am ready. I'm going to sip this thing. Wow. What do you think? Mmm. You know, it tastes kind of like cinnamon toast, except it's snow and water. Somebody spilled the beans! So, here we are at Bloomington Community Access Television. B cat, and I've got 60 seconds to try to explain the situation to you. See, the reason that I wear this B is because I am B, the editor of this television program, and this here is the mechanical editing controller, which I work with here at Bloomington Community Access Television, where I edit this television program. Now, you'll notice that my friend here is, is kind of blinking on and off. That's because he's sick. He's not feeling too well and he's going to have to be sent in for repairs on Monday. And he's going to be gone for at least a week. Now that means that I'm not going to be able to edit this television show in the way to which I'm normally accustomed. If you look around here, there's all kinds of equipment, but unfortunately, Bloomington Community Access Television is not the most well-funded of organizations uh, in the whole wide world, so there often is malfunctioning equipment and problems, like this right here, right now. And, bye. Oprah. So the uh, the point of this episode is that uh, you know we we don't have an edit controller and so we're doing it on the fly. It's in real time. There is no safety net. This is you're seeing it as it unfolds. Now normally in an episode of J and B on the Rocks, um, you would see like uh, 
the end result of an edited down version of like what was uh, originally about two hours of footage. But here it said we have just 29 one minute segments. Yeah, 29 one after the of other. Them. One after another. Um, in real time, you're seeing it as it unfolds. Um, time is passing, and as a matter of fact, it's passing on uh, into this next little. Yeah. J and B, J and B, J and B. J and B, J and B, J and ah. Oh, check it out. Oh, check it out. And then left, 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 and then left. Here we are. <laughs> it's chilly outside. Oh, newly really remodeled. So, how's the sausage grape? Mm. So, you, know, you kind of caught me in my mouth full here, but I want to introduce one of our friends who's with us today here at lunch. This is um, a man named The Conk also known as the conch. There he is over there, the conch, wearing that funny hat. Howdy. Yeah. He's eating too. Yep. Mm -hmm. It's chilly outside. It's, yes. Oh my God, it is chilly outside. The conch, a prophet, a poet, for the new world, the new age, the new time, J and Beyond the Rocks, here with you today, here. And this here is uh, Moon Boy, another guest of ours, and sometimes camera operator. Oh, wow, what a honker. You know, I always miss. It always just, like, falls out from there, and I get snot all over my hands. Gross. J and Beyond the Rocks. A show which asks the penetrating question, are excretory functions fit subject for family viewing? So uh, here we are in the Waffle House restroom where there's no mirror, but there is this kind of reflective paper towel dispenser where you can see the distinctive B, which indicates so this drink that we're going to be making here in the bathroom is called a whiskey fastball. As you can see here on this graphic display, which we've, we've done in lieu of uh, some kind of title, whiskey fastball, communism is good. What you want is you want a glass of, uh, of like uh, soda water or um, Sprite or 7-Up or some kind of clear sugar water soda type stuff. You want to add one of these little bitty bottles of scotch. Now we like this brand because it's, you know, J and B like our names, which is kind of similar. Although there is no actual business or, or commercial relationship between us and J and B scotch at all. So keep that in mind. Mm -mm -mm. So you want to take this bottle and just pour it all in. Just pour it all into your glass there and uh, stir it around a little bit. And there you have a whiskey fastball. Mmm! Wow! I would pronounce that as distinctly fast-paced or something. So here's something you don't see every day, even when there's more than 29 minutes in the day. It's, it's a crazy psychedelic car with a uh, Grateful Dead thing on it and solid rock. That is. It's crazy, Solid. unbelievable. You'll only see it here in Indiana, especially if you're at Waffle House. So now it's time to discuss the advantages and implications of a fast pace. For example, um, when you have a fast pace, you get a lot of shit done. So uh, at this point, quality is, is sub, uh, subverted by quantity. In other words, a lot of texture and no content whatsoever. <laughs> Rapid 
fire images to just to make the time pass more and more quickly as life goes on meaninglessly on J and B on the rocks. Oh my God! Wow! Conk caught between the doors. Caught in oh. the middle of time. <coughs> We here at J&B on the Rocks like to re return to the ground floor, down to the beginning of all things. Roots. We, we ignore, we reject the rapid fire pace of uh, MTV, the, the, la the total lack of content in favor of, of, of high, high moral and uh, philosophical discussion of deep issues here on television in front of you. Say it, brother. God, he is one profound motherfucker. Yeah. Higher. Flames. Higher. 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 Go down. Jack it down. Jacket down. Jack it down. Go down. Jack it 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 down. Go down, Jackie. Jack it down. Go down. No. 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 Jack it down. 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 actually here on this television channel at this undisclosed um, number or something. Fuck it. Well, it's fire. I've managed to steal this minute of your life. What's that? It was in their enter zone, and I was, took the camera away so that you guys could get to know a piece of me. I'm God. I'm watching you all the time. Remember that as my nose dribbles. They have the wrong building. Where are they? They're in the car. They're what in the, the car. Hell? We're doing this. Oh. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> Bill, uh, what are we looking for exactly? Keep I thought that, it was a big that, swirly that, slide. A slide? Yeah, oh, yeah, you we'll do what? this. What if we just go over <clears> there and <throat> do something on whatever that is anyway? Okay. That's the alley we're supposed to do. Well. Okay. We're at what? Going? Oh shit. oh shit! Well, what are we looking for? I thought no, it was going to be slide. a slide right here. Oh, it is a slide. Well, oh, okay. well, this is this is uh, this is wet. This is kind of dumb. Hey, this is very this uh, slippery. You yeah. know, slides but are supposed is, to be that way. This is a J and B thing. What? We're doing this for J&B. Oh, shit. Oh, this is a slide, by the you way. You know how fucking slippery this You might not have seen hey, this. I got a plan, man. Well, yeah. <laughs> What's I, this? Are you guess, going or coming back? Well, what, wait, hold on now. Don't don't kill yourself. Joe? Yeah. This is a slide. Go on down this damn... Woo! <laughs> Look at this. Now that, now that was funny. My butt's wet. Okay. Your butt's gonna get wet. I don't plan. Now don't. On my wait feet. a second. Hold on. Now if you slide down this, your 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 butt's gonna get wet. I'm going. I'm going on my Take feet. Oh, okay. Well, don't. Just don't kill yourself. I'll try not to. Okay. Oh, shit. Well. You, <laughs> hey. Hey, look. Yeah. Now nah, see that that is funny. Now now did my butt get wet? Yeah. 
a minute. Hey, look at this. While, while we had other friends of ours go out and videotape our show, we sat here in the dry car. This yeah. fucking inclement weather just right. sucks. But, uh, but hey, J and B got to sit in the car while other people worked on their show. Now, what a scam. Here we are at 15 minutes and 6 seconds into this episode, this in-camera episode, this episode that just has no safety net where we're just running around trying to get the shit done all at once. And here we are, and now it is 15 minutes and 25 seconds into this episode. But we're almost there. We're, we're more than halfway there at this point. So congratulations to us. <laughs> what is going on here? I'm I'm sorry. We McDonald's? So we've got to go get some cash because I'm strapped. And uh, we're going to go get some right now, and we need something to drink because this in inclement weather is just making everything really frustrating. So here we go. Still so, sound so um, the card in the machine. No money. You have no money. You have no we money. We want to. Oh, yeah, right. Hey. Close, please. Wow, lovely. Transaction is being processed. You Please have no wait. Money. You have hey, look. Cash. Cash money out of this machine. Thank this was what my thank, boss was like. Thank you, and have a nice day. Yes. Fucking day. I should get paid just to do this. Have a nice fucking There we go. What? What? Thing for me to do. What? <laughs> I put my wallet away, which of course was an absurd thing to do because I have to put this money away. <laughs> And absurdity is such a normal way of life. <laughs> no, don't worry about rewinding. That little black spot there was just uh, Joe Conkright, or the Conk, as we're calling him, um, turning, on, turning on his uh, video camera without removing the lens cap. So here we are at the U.S. Post Office here in Bloomington, here in our little hometown. And uh, we're going to check out what's in our post office box here. That's P.O. Box 3241 there, here in Bloomington, Indiana. This, the zip code here, by the way, is 47402. Wow, we've got a couple of things here. Oh, great. Goodness, so, gosh, oh, look. Wow, it's something from the post office. Collect U.S. commemoratives. They're fun. They're history. They're America. Wow, that's beautiful. Wow, look, it's Band-Aids in there. Band-Aids, somebody sent us a Band-Aid once before. I wonder if this is like some kind yeah. of message that's yeah. being maybe sent Yeah, maybe it's somebody at the post Why office. Why would somebody send us Band- oh, Fuck wait a everything you stand for. Fuck you. Wow, that's that's what? really hostile. I can't believe somebody God. would say that. And those are on adhesive strips. Yeah, they're on adhesive strips, and they're just sent so, here to, or sitting here in our post office box. wonder how they got there. Hmm. Well, we'll just put them back in there. Maybe, um, man, they're, they're traveling salesmen or that something. That Jay is one cool character. Yeah. So here we've here's a piece of real viewer mail, it looks like. Jay and B on the Rocks from Llama. So I'll just open this with my razor-sharp fingernail. Wow. And, uh, and uh, let's see here. Wow. I'm going to... Oh, look. It's something special. The Llama Theological Institute. Booze. Bucks, sex. Yeah, well, that's balanced. That's crazy. Where buying your seat in heaven is the first commandment. <laughs> Brethren, thou hast ask of the new and true God. Behold. <laughs> Chuck O'Head. Chuck O'Head. And look at that. Look at that hat that he's wearing. Wow. It says J and B on it. 
So, so God wears a hat that says J and B. That's kind and of God's interesting. God's name is Chucklehead. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. And it's signed Llama. Llama. Well, goodness. <laughs> Thanks, Llama. And actually, since this is such a fascinating piece of viewer mail, I think we'll go make a drink for you right now. Oh, yeah, and if you wanted to write to us, this would be the address. J and B on the Rocks, Post Office Box 3241. We see you back there, Jay. Bloomington, Indiana, 47402. Two there at the end on the P.O. box. Well, then. So this uh, next drink that we're going to be having here in honor of that uh, viewer mail is three the fast way. And uh, as uh, you may, may be guessing, that means that we're going to have three rapid fire drinks. What we're going to have here is uh, a scotch whiskey, a single malt scotch whiskey, a shot of that, followed in rapid succession by a shot of hot damn hot cinnamon schnapps and finally coming up on to the mm. Malibu coconut rum. Coconut, oh. Um, yes, it's a fabulous combination of flavors and, uh, and we're doing it the fast way, so here we go. So this first one that I'm gonna try is the single malt scotch whiskey. Mmm, <sighs> smooth. <laughs> Mm. Um, next is going to be the uh, hot cinnamon schnapps. <laughs> Shit, that's hot. Gosh. Um, and uh, last but not least, the um, coconut is it coconut rum flavored rum. 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 Mm, it tastes just beachy. <laughs> oh, God. Stupid puns. And J and B on the rocks. <laughs> and rolling. Art reflects life. Uh, but is the original 29 an imperfect reflection of the original 29? That doesn't make sense. Yeah. Rolling. Screwy blue juice. Rolling. I really, really hate this. It's really bad. I don't like it at all. No. No, no, no. And rolling. Uh, this is 29. I've got it in green and it's a little bit fatter and smaller. And this one is thin and larger, and this is in red. 29. Rolling. When you're stoned, you can see J and B in the face of God in 29. Rolling. If you're colorblind, you probably see the word 29. Rolling. Just kind of kooky, kind of crazy, kind of nutty, kind of crazy, kind of. Rolling. This is. 2-9 and 3-D. And rolling. Okay, I was so impressed with my lovely two that I made. I really thought I'd made progress because, you know, I just, it, what a beautiful two. And then my nine just sucked. How mediocre. It just ruined it. So I had to put an attractive border around it to detract the eye from the nine. But yet, look at the border. And then they'll, I think they'll go back to that two and say, gosh, you know, that's the best two I've ever seen. And then I'll feel really good about that. Because I think two is a sign of love and prosperity, and I like to, I'm just kind of like that. I'm a nice gal, and I like to have that message spread. Rolling. This is my Art Nouveau 29. So, as you know, 29 is a prime number. 31 is the next prime number in sequence after 29. If you add 29 and 31, you get 58. If you subtract the episode number, which is 45, from 58, you get 13. But if you take the 5 and put it over here, right there, and if you take the 8 and you put it up here, and you add 8 and 5, you get 13. 13! 13! And now, the adventures of Super Woman. Um, I, I mean, uh, Super Woman. 
Of course. Yes, superwoman of social graces. Superwoman of social graces. Oh. Thank you for coming this year. You know, we really enjoyed your support this year with the campaign. Indeed. I'm encouraging the integration of schools in hopes that coloreds and white people can look as one. <gasps> oh, I've just got to go back in time and save her, save her from making an ass of herself. She'll never win the election this way. I've got to save her, I've got to save her, I've got to save her! Rolling. I'm encouraging the integrations of schools in hopes that African Americans and whites can work as one. I think your ideas are wonderful and you're just going to be able to pull them through in Congress this year. I just know it. I... I am superwoman of social gracious. I help people from stop making asses of themselves in the social and political world. So here we got this license. Um, it, was, it was given to us by the conk when he came here uh, from Lexington, Kentucky. That nice guy, him. Um, but he procured this for us. Um, this is a license to J and B for the promotion of the responsible use of alcohol by demonstrating a variety of mixed drinks and potable beverages. This is the official thing. So say it me and I rule all, so it is so. Amen. <laughs> the, and that's signed by, well, it's actually not signed, but it's got President Clinton and Hillary Rodnick Clinton. Well, actually, I guess since it's... Well, but it's got the official seal, so it must be worth something. Okay, so that's great. So look here. We've, the time has continued to pass. It's now 11.26, I guess, and 40 seconds. And you know what that means. 41, 42, 43. That means the Grim Reaper is coming for you, baby. Reaper. Coming for you, baby, actually, is what he's trying to say. Um, and yes, I guess time is passing away, and I guess this this television show is about over. So I guess we should say goodbye. Um, we're glad that you came with us through this uh, difficult and dangerous journey, but I'm sure that you have uh, progressed and grown as a human being, and um, we're sure glad that you were here. So, bye-bye. <laughs>